Your morning news now. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office is expected to announce charges today against the Trump Organization and the company's chief financial officer. Former President Trump's company, along with his longtime CFO, Alan Weisselberg, have been indicted for alleged tax-related crimes. The charges will likely focus on whether the company gave perks to top executives without reporting them properly. In a statement, former President Trump says his company's actions were standard practice and in no way a crime. Hearts are broken for the families. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are on the way to Florida to meet with families and first responders as they deal with the aftermath of a building collapse. The death toll from that incident now stands at 18, with 140 more still unaccounted for. Crews continue to work 12-hour shifts hoping to find survivors in some part of the collapsed structure. In a bit of progress, they have managed to build a ramp that should allow the use of heavier equipment on site, which is expected to help open up new pockets of space to search. The impact of the historic heat wave in the Pacific Northwest is slowly taking shape. Authorities in Canada, Washington State and Oregon are investigating hundreds of deaths that are likely due to the extreme temperatures. The chief coroner for British Columbia says her office received reports of at least 486 sudden deaths between last Friday and yesterday afternoon when the number is normally around 165. Oregon health officials say more than 60 deaths in that state have been linked to heat with another 20 in Washington. Well, luckily for us, temperatures are starting off on the cooler side. Most of us in those 50s and 60s throughout the region. Dew points also in the 50s or 60s. Those will continue to rise. We could be feeling a little bit sticky or uncomfy this afternoon. There is some patchier fog hanging out in Black River Falls as well as Boscobel and Prairie du Chien. So be nice and cautious on your way to work this morning. The man accused of causing a death in La Crosse's Huska Park is being held on a $500,000 cash bond. Judge Elliot Levine ordered the bond for 34-year-old David Pearson Jr., who was arrested on charges of first-degree reckless homicide and felony bail jumping. Pearson is scheduled to be back in court next Wednesday, July 7th. Following a signature by Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, there's a new requirement today that he says will help local municipalities in their legal battles with opioid companies. The bill requires the Wisconsin Attorney General to cooperate with local governments that are suing companies so they can recover lost money from issues related to opioid abuse. That's not the only document hitting Governor Evers' desk as the Wisconsin state budget will be brought to him today. Following a 23-9 vote in the state Senate, the $87 billion spending plan includes a GOP-backed arrangement to cut $3.3 billion in income and property taxes. Governor Evers may use his partial veto powers to rewrite the spending plan or even kill it, something that hasn't been done since 1931. The Department of Public Instruction is handing out nearly $2 billion to public schools across Wisconsin to support their mental health programs. The money is also being used for students with individualized education plans, transportation costs, and other needs. La Crosse's River Fest is back with a four and a half day celebration in Riverside Park. The fun continues today with plenty of activities for everyone. Kids train rides start at 11 a.m. The Dialed Action Sports Team will be giving BMX bike demonstrations at 2 p.m. And for country music fans, Wisconsin's own Pat Waters Band goes on at 6 p.m. Also, County Line Drive will be on the other stage at 6.30, Troy Cartwright at 8.15, and Randy Hauser at 10. Well, it is the perfect time to spend the day outside at Rivers Riverfest. We're going to see temperatures rising to a high of 87 today. We'll be sunny and warm throughout the day with some slight chances for showers anywhere between about 2 to about 6 o'clock this evening. Those should clear. It'll be nice and calm headed into our weekend. Temperatures rise to the 90s. So make sure to hydrate on Sunday, hitting our high of 93. We could cool down into next week with some isolated chances of thunderstorms lasting from Monday until Friday. Thanks so much for sharing this July 1st morning with us. We're going to send you now to CBS this morning. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow.